Okay, this is the initial setup of the uh, transferring exercise. This is where you need to start. A quick run over, run over of the components. These blocks in here are cleats. They need to be used to ensure the set uh, stays square. Uh, in here are your toms. And across all of that is the capping, which is nailed. Uh, these long lengths here are what they call the whalings. And this whole rectangle is a set. Uh, around here is your staging. This gives you a, a safe place to walk. And the whole, all of this sits on top of the bearers. Uh, the gap here you require is uh, 50 mil. As you start digging, you need to uh, put uh, sheathing in down to stop the sand coming in the side of the trench. Uh, so you need your 50 mil gap for the sheathing to go down there. Uh, the the set is two meters long, and it is 800 mil wide. See everything sitting there on the bearer. Okay, this is a trench run about halfway through. See the sheathing started to be installed. Uh, these are hangers. What you need to do once you've uh, once you've dug 300 mil below the top. Set. You need to install the travelling set. All right. This this travelling set will be uh, will go down the whole depth of your hole. Uh, once you've reached a depth of 700 mil, you can install what will become the second set, and then use the hangers to hang this second set off the first. You need to install these these uh, sets because uh, the, the outside pressure of the sand pushing in could cause the sheathing to bust or uh, or or come in. Uh, that's why you need to uh, add stability to it by adding those sets. When you're installing the sheathing, you need to uh, keep keep in mind where you're going to put the hangers. You need you need to leave a small gap between the sheaths to fit these hangers. Uh, if your hole's going square. Uh, this sheathing will fall down real easy for you. Uh, if you're going out of square, that's when they'll start to jam up and uh, the job gets very hard. There should be no need to use hammers to smash this sheath, this sheath down. Uh, if there's any hammers used to do this, you'll be, you'll be starting, the, starting the job again. Uh, you just wreck the top of the sheaths. Okay, this is the finished trench shawl. All the, the sheath are right the way down. You need to ensure it the top of the sheath are always 150 mil above the stage. Uh, you'll see here there's been a third set installed and hanging again from the hanging brackets. Again, we need to have a little bit of forward planning and work out where your gaps are going to be in your sheathing to get those hangers in. Uh, the traveller set at the very bottom. You can see how uh, you could conti you continue this trench or as deep as you wanted, continuing this process. Uh, okay, when you're uh, when you're backfilling, first you need to pull out the bottom traveller, the bottom travelling set, and then backfill to the bottom of the third, the third set, then you can remove that third set, then backfill to the second and, uh, and then backfill, uh, pull the second out, then backfill to the to this top, then you can pull the whole thing apart. It is vital you uh, pull the trench or apart uh, correctly because again it is, it is a dangerous exercise and if you do it wrong it can come, it can go very badly. There will be cave-ins and uh, can go badly. Uh, make sure you pack all the trench away neatly.
uh, during this uh, during this task, there's uh, there's several places for the instructor to check the job. You need to ensure that you at those places. You need to uh, ensure that you do get your instructor to check and sign off on the as you go. Don't uh, don't go doing the whole thing and then come to your boss for a signature. Uh, come to your instructor for a signature because um, you haven't done as the task is laid out.